A speed booster is a great tool to have, especially if you're filming with a camera that has a severe crop factor. Cameras like the GH4 and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera come to mind as they crop into that image area a little bit more than you might like. Nowadays, people like the look of larger size sensors. Super 35 and full frame are pretty popular for video. So having a speed booster to combat that crop factor is really handy. But how exactly do speed boosters work their magic? Well, a speed booster is the name brand associated with the Metabones adapters, but more generically, these are referred to as focal reducers. They're basically taking the image area of full frame or APS-C lenses and shrinking it down so the crop factor is cropping in to a smaller image area. In effect, this gives you one extra stop of light as well as a wider field of view on a smaller size sensor. And because you're adding an extra piece of glass between the lens and the sensor, there are some extra image flaws that may be introduced in this process, but they're so minimal that most people find the advantage of having a speed booster is a lot better than not having one. But you do have to know one thing, and that's that not all cameras can use speed boosters. In order to use a speed booster, you need a camera that has a mount with a smaller flange distance than the lens you're trying to put on it. Basically what this means is that if you have a lens that's meant for a DSLR or a camera that typically has a mirror box inside of it, you can use a speed booster with that lens on a camera that has a mirrorless mount. Popular combinations include Canon EF to Sony E-mount, Canon EF to Micro Four Third, Nikon F-mount to Sony E-mount, and Nikon F mount to Micro Four Third. You can't go the other way. You can't use a Sony E mount lens on a Canon body, and you can't use a Micro Four Thirds lens on a Nikon body. It just doesn't work that way. So you'll often see me complain about video cameras like the Ursa Mini using an EF mount, even though there's no mirror assembly inside of it. That's pretty limiting because the EF mount can't take speed boosters. If Blackmagic had decided to go with a Sony E mount or Micro Four Third mount, you could use a speed booster and actually actually get to a full frame look on a Super 35 sensor. This adds a lot of flexibility to your shooting, so cameras that have mirrorless style mounts are my particular favorite. Cameras like the FS7, the FS5, and the JVC LS300 all have mirrorless mounts, and therefore you can use speed boosters with those cameras to get looks that you might not have available to you otherwise. And I especially like using speed boosters on my GH4 because the GH4 has a pretty severe crop in 4K mode. It's around 2.3 times crop. But with a speed booster, you can actually make that like an APS-C camera or a Super 35 camera. Even though these focal reducers are doing a pretty basic task of shrinking down the image area, the results you can get are amazing. And if you're shooting with a smaller size sensor or even a Super 35 sensor with a mirrorless mount, you should definitely add a speed booster to your collection. 